Now I'm here with JJ because today I want to spread some knowledge about capuchin monkeys. Now JJ is a wedge-capped capuchin monkey and their life expectation is from 35 to 40 years old. They live in big groups of up to 30 individuals. And very interesting is that in groups there is only one reproductive adult male. And the rest of the group is only females with their offsprings. Now what does JJ eat? Capuchin monkeys, they are omnivorous, which means their diet consists of different fruits, invertebrates like snails and insects, different plants and sometimes even vertebrates like little mouses, frogs or birds. And now I got a fun fact for you. Capuchin monkeys, they rub millipedes against their fur as a repellent against mosquitoes. This ladies and gentlemen is a rhino horn and this is the only reason why they keep on killing these beautiful creatures on a daily basis for no reason. Now look at it a little bit closer. Can you see that? Rhino horn is made out of keratin, which is the exact same protein which makes up our fingernail or our hair. So it has no medical background or anything like that. It is totally useless to use it for medication. So why are we keeping on killing these beautiful animals for nothing? The biggest market for rhino horn is Vietnam and Southeast Asia. But all this is a global problem because if we would kill every single rhino now in this second and sell the horns to the market, the demand would still be over 65 percent so the problem is not solved the problem is in here we need to get into the brains of people and make them value these animals make them appreciate them and want to share this planet with them in the world of lions 90 percent is body language and only 10 percent is communication through vocalism or how do you, however you call it like through certain sounds they make like rolls or calls or something like that but every movement of his head of his paws combined with the tail of my eyes where do they look do i move backwards or to the front when they approach me all this is constant communication guys and if you're not aware of what they are telling you if you can't understand them or don't see it that's where the real struggle starts and that's where it gets dangerous this is the moment where dexter shows the girls listen it's over look there he's not ready to play any games anymore So I tried to pull her out, in that second she came out like poof, striking at me. Here. Ah. Right at the top. Stop falling down there, bro. Yeah. Ah. Where's my one? Good, got it. Alright. Hey guys. So there we go with the most venomous snake in Africa. This is a black mamba. This snake can kill you in 20 minutes with one drop. Isn't she beautiful? And you know why they call her black mamba? Can you see inside the mouth how black it is? And that's why she got her name. She's grayish outside, but inside her mouth, she's dark black. Isn't it a little bit scary? This is a fucking black mamba, guys. Look at this. guys so look what i've got here this is one of the most fascinating animals on this planet this is a baby nile crocodile it's between two and three years old and the crazy thing is only one percent of those babies make it to maturity but once they reach maturity they will be on the top of the food chain if you look carefully they have black dots around the mouth and they can pick up vibration in the water with them and did you guys know that crocodiles they don't have a tongue they have only a big flat membrane which stops them from drowning while they are eating underneath the water. This is Nyla. She's the first one to dig into an animal, to do her job and she's amazing in it. This is why she's so bloody. It's part of socializing within a lion pride because they lick each other to clean each other as well. Now unfortunately I can't lick so I'm imitating with my hands to take the blood off her and get her clean again. Look how she's enjoying it. Yo guys, now everybody's sharing so many pictures and videos about koalas on social media. But what do we actually know about koalas? Now did you guys know that koalas are not even bears? 
they're actually marsupials. And marsupials are mammals which give birth to undeveloped young. This means they give birth to a tiny little baby. It looks like a little worm actually. And this one will crawl all the way up through the fur right into the pouch. Now the pouch is the bag which all marsupials have. The most famous one is the kangaroo. Now another super interesting fact is that their diet consists of almost only eucalyptus leaves which are poisonous to all kinds of animals as well as us humans. Eucalyptus leaves contain almost no energy. This is why these guys have to sleep 20 hours a day, almost as much as lions. Only the difference is that they have to sleep that long and lions they want to sleep that long. Everybody is talking about our planet is dying. We can make this world a better place and you will play the most important role in that. You need to use that inspiration and that love you guys carrying in your hearts to make a change out there in that world. Do not watch animals. We all know that animals are getting extinct. Please don't cut trees, you will reduce our oxygen. This over here, this is our planet's future, right? Kids, maybe make now 30% of our current population. But in 50 years time, in 100 years time, they will be 100% of our future. This is why we have to educate them. Big things don't happen in one day. That's the only way how we can make this world a better place. I'm not crying because I'm sad, I'm crying because I'm so happy, right? Because you're inspiring me. Thank you very much for that. Now this is your African bush elephant and with a maximum height of 4 meters and a weight of up to 6 tons, this is the largest land animal in the whole world. Now look at how beautiful they are. Their tusks can grow longer than 2 meters and each of them weighs between 25 and 45 kgs. And the craziest thing is, these tusks, they never stop to grow. Hey guys, now today I want to compare with you guys two of the most famous African predators. The African lion and the spotted hyena. <laughs> Both of them are very social animals which live in big groups. Hyena groups are called clans which are led by their females and which live according to a very strict ranking system. While lions live in prides which are led by their one and only king and the rest of the pride are only females and their offspring. Now let's compare the physics. While hyenas have non-retractable claws like dogs or wolves, lions they have razor sharp retractable claws actually like a normal house cat just way way bigger and the craziest thing is did you guys know that even though the hyena is way smaller than the lions their jaws are way way stronger now as this is an educational video don't forget to inspire and educate the world with me Hey guys, now there's 3,600 different known snake species out there in the world and only 375 are venomous. The rest is non-venomous snakes like this Dumeril boa over here. Now snakes play a very important role in our ecosystem which we are all part of. So on one side they do feed a lot of predator animals and on the other side they act like a natural pest control. And the crazy and fascinating thing is did you guys know that snakes have no eyelids? which means they actually sleep with open eyes. So as you guys can see, snakes are very fascinating animals and at the same time, they are essential for our ecosystem. This is why we have to learn to appreciate and to protect them. Hey guys, now today I wanna to spread some more knowledge about capuchin monkeys. Now JJ and Momo, they are both wedge-capped capuchin monkeys, which is one out of 10 different species of capuchins. I know it might be hard to believe, but they have a lot in common with lions, especially their social behavior. For example, one thing is that they do care about the babies of others within the group. And another quite brutal fact is that when a male takes over another capuchin family, same as lions, they do kill all non-related newborn males. And last but not least, a fun fact. Did you guys know that male capuchin monkeys pee on their hands and cover their entire body in their urinate to attract other females? Guys, you are nasty, man. But hey, that's how capuchin monkeys are. 
But don't try this at home guys, this doesn't work for humans. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see what's next then make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel right now and if you want to see more content you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well thank you so much for watching and see you guys later